series and movies and books and comic books and TV shows that when they cancel up, they make you want more. This one That's was, true. you know what? Oh my gosh, this is a complete story. I cried. I, I'm not gonna, it yeah. wasn't dry. No, I cried. There was things where they pulled at you and us being around the same age, when we were younger, you collect comic books, you were labeled a geek or a nerd mm -hmm. or whatever. Oh, you, you buying those comic books again. Why are you buying those comic yeah. books? Why don't you go out and like and go get a rock collection and buy those comic books? <laughs> but no, yeah, play a sport, but, beat somebody up, yeah. do something manly. But you, no. you hear, yeah, you hear now kids who like going into the movie theater, 19. Oh yeah, I was nine or I was 10 when this movie started, and they had they grew up with this, and we got to see from jump from the. That's all they know is the uh, movies. Mm -hmm. We saw them from the comic books and then from the TV shows in the mm -hmm. 80s and in the 90s, and they told their story everything matched up and you just go, I don't think we'll ever have an event like that again. Now they're gonna, or in this lifetime, now phase four is coming out and they'll have a Captain America, Disney Plus will have other different characters. But to me, I'm satisfied. And how often can we say that with media, where I'm satisfied, oh my gosh, I got this. And if it goes on to another generation and they can experience this, that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, hey. We got that with Star Wars. No, uh, for the, who? Everyone, I mean, Jar Jar made it. Jar Jar made sure that the people that originally, oh, I'm done. I you know what? Sure I, like, I, I, like the, I, I like the prequel. Like, we were going to let you ride it out yeah. and see where it I ended. I like the prequels. <laughs> but it was time here, then we waited, what, how many years between episode six and episode one? We waited for that story. I'm talking about this is 11 years, 22 some odd movies, all the tie-ins, everything. We got a complete body of work that was continuous. Well, we didn't get that with Star Wars and we didn't get with anything else. Harry Potter, yeah, with the books, but just on that grand scale. You know, I, I think the, the one thing that they share, if you, and you, if you look like Captain America, Captain America, Captain Marvel actually was a bounce back in time. And yes. so, and there wasn't really, they didn't even try to write her or, you know, kind of squeeze her in, you know, write mm -hmm. her into like all these different scenarios where she just wasn't there. They just said, well, she's gone now, so, you know, <laughs> see you in a couple. You know, and, and that we just all were just, you know, we're happy with that. We just let it go. But, and so I, I think they did a great job around that. It, it was, it was an epic especially for that many movies, for them all to come together, kind of cool. Yeah. I was satisfied. I got to say, though, I wasn't sad. Ooh, to your point, the girl power moment, mm. even though Rescue wasn't in any of the movies for the most part, wasn't in anything, as soon as Miss Potts put on the show oh. in. That's true. Done. Yeah. And we all were like, oh, that's supposed, that's exactly what that's supposed to look like. Yeah. That was, uh Yeah. yeah. I have to say, though, I felt a little weird about the girl power moment in that movie. It felt, to me, it felt a little, like, heavy-handed and a it, it little did, bit uh, forced, but it, it I did, still love. It did to me the first time I watched it. Yeah. And to be honest with you, it felt a little forced, like, yeah. oh, here we go. But I didn't mind it, but I was going, right. okay, the second time I watched it, I was, yeah, yes. it, this is cool. That's like, true. okay, boom. We How got heavy the, handed. Like, what? Uh, it was almost like it was, <sighs> they put it in there just to foreshadow what's coming in phase four. Yeah. And, some, and I did hear some people in the movie theater, and I laughed at this when I actually did my rubber neck, like, you gotta be kidding me. This guy was like, yeah, I like 90% of the movie until they put their feminist agenda. And then I'm thinking, Really? Oh. You're really going to say that? Really? I mean, come on. That's come on. <laughs> and then the, right there in that same um, aisle, they were talking, and a, and, a, um, and a lady said, you know what? You've had your 11-year run. Now it's time for ours. Let us have our moment. I'm thinking, good. They can tell, if they can tell great stories and yeah. they make it natural and organic, great. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm great. I want to see that because I have nieces, you have a daughter, I have a daughter. We want to see that. Uh, but I know where you're saying it. It felt a little okay, like it just we felt, felt forced. Like tacked on a little bit. It was a little, it was, uh, it was a kind I'm of I'm not a, saying I didn't like it. It was a but, wink, wink. Yeah. This is what we have going on. It, it shows the diversity, but I get what you're saying because I was going, oh, I okay. wasn't expecting that in this yeah. moment, and but then the I'm second, glad it's here. Then the second time, 
watching it and then you hear around you hear uh, the reactions of women like yeah go get them and I'm like you know what this is pretty darn cool yeah I, I liked it uh, I was a little worried that I thought maybe that they were gonna have Captain Marvel be this overpowering mm -hmm. character she's gonna come and beat Thanos and stuff but they didn't have that it, it occurred it, it it was just a great a great story all right, now see, uh, I love the movie. But I love but Captain I Moore. I love but Captain Marvel. Goes, I, just because I love it doesn't mean that I'm not critical of it. Right. Mm -hmm. And one thing I have to be critical of is he didn't have the gauntlet, and I'm giving up the fact that um, Thor Lebowski uh, <laughs> yeah. was most likely not um, at full power because he had a <laughs> belly to. Yeah. You know, belly some of, of his despair. Yeah. yeah. Of his yeah. So, all right, he wasn't up to full power, but the Avengers should have mopped Thanos straight out the gate. That like, no way he should have stood against all of them for even a second. It, it well, just shouldn't have happened. There's uh, nothing. If you're not gonna give Drax the Destroyer, you know, the part where he gets to be the Destroyer, mm -hmm. then you can't make, I understand why they had to make Thanos the big bad and make it a compelling fight. But the only reason why it was a compelling fight before is because he had the gauntlet. Mm. He didn't he have did, the gauntlet, and he was taking away everybody. He didn't have this, all the stones. Mm. He did have a really big army though. Yeah. To back him up a little and then, bit. And then when he had a Scarlet Witch, That's who was true. mad. But remember, That's they had true. a Hulk the first time he mopped the floor with a Hulk. He didn't have all the stones either. Then. I mean, he got a couple. He, he, he threw him around a little bit, but yeah. I see what you're saying, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. I do. We had a Hulk this time. We had a. No, you didn't have a Hulk. Uh, well, no, you, had, yeah, you, had, you, had, you had Professor Hulk. Professor, professor Hulk. Professor which. Hulk. which Made me kind of uh, feel good. I'm a big incredible <laughs> talk. Yeah, like, er. <laughs> but I loved it when he shared the tacos with. Oh, Lang. I, I love that. Like, here you oh, go, there little you go. buddy. <laughs> yeah. Taco Tuesday with the Hulk. <laughs> uh, the one that got me was, uh, yeah, there you go, average guy. <laughs> yeah, average size <laughs> guy. Oh, yeah. Like, wow, that's got to hurt a little bit. Like, yeah, that, that stings. That stings. <laughs> I know. I'm wearing clothes, right? right? Like, he's just like, this is amazing. I, I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Stop. You got an armor set? Yeah. I guess if I had to say one more thing as a critical eye for the movie, <laughs> there were parts of it where I was glad I did not sit down and watch all 20 whatever movies back to back before I saw this movie because, because of the time element, it felt a little like we're just going to recap everything we did and then like give you the end that we know you need. And mm -hmm. so that was the only other thing at one point. I was like, I've seen all this before. Mm -hmm. But I know I hadn't. I know it was still mm -hmm. a fresh eye. I know uh, we needed that as the audience too. And, and there are people who haven't seen all 20 whatever movies and they still had to sell a movie to them too. Right. So that was the only other thing, but still I bawled like a baby and enjoyed yeah. myself the whole time too, so. And, and the <laughs> Carter scenes. Like, oh mm. gosh! Yes, yes. It, but you know, I didn't watch. Um, I, I'm not a big Agents of Shield. You know, no, I, I the integration there just hasn't been. I think they have. They just haven't really cared about the TV shows. You know, whether it be mm. Daredevil or any of the Netflix stuff or any of the. You know, even though Cloak and Dagger is absolutely amazing, you never even hear them mentioned inside no. of any of the cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. So. Well, the reason for that is, of course, we get it on uh, business. Disney is now has their own streaming service, so they're not going to push someone else's streaming service with their properties. And oh, hey, Luke Cage, that's great. Well, let's cancel that because that's on <laughs> Netflix. Oh, hey, we're going to do this Big Defenders. Yeah, we got one season, but we'll cancel that because we got to cancel all of this Netflix stuff so we can get ready for Disney Plus. So why right. invest in time? And that's kind of what's terrible. You invest time into it. Like, oh, this is going to be the Marvel ground level uh, universe. It's still connected, and maybe we'll see it. But no, it's on Netflix. And now mm -hmm. that we're going to do our streaming service, we're just going to. That we're we're done with it. And they snapped the we Netflix. Got, yeah. so, remember when, oh. remember oh, when Daredevil came out, and you guys were like, "Man, this is awesome. This is great." Can't, season two, yeah, we did season two. Ah, we're going to cancel it. Why are you canceling it? Well, blah, blah, blah. it's because they won't say it's but that thing. So. 
um, Agent Carter was on ABC, and since ABC Disney, I did watch that show, and that was, I loved it. But you're absolutely right. Those were the only ones that even had a remote connection to the cinematic universe. Mm -hmm. But now that Disney is keeping everything in house, well, maybe I mean, we'll see what happens. Cause can we get Colson back at least? Yeah. yeah. Like, man. So I, I guess what you're saying is you wanted to see those characters like the Punisher, Daredevil, Luke Cage, uh, it, it, Jessica Jones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, they're in La La Land until we'll see what happens with Disney right. Plus. Yeah. I mean, the whole world's getting blown up. But, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll stay over there. We got this. Mm -hmm. but, you know, you know, I did like that they showed what was going on, like that the rest of the New York folks weren't mm -hmm. just like going, ooh, I hope they show do win this battle. Mm -hmm. You know, they were actually doing something. Yeah. But and that was kind of neat to see. But, That's you know, true. It would have been nice to saw, you know, at least one person get, you know, knocked out and then put the hoodie up and walk away. That would have been kind of cool. Oh, well. Don't get everything. Next time. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a quick break and come back and we're going to just keep on roundhouse discussions and back and forth. I want to hear some of what, what makes Andrea tick a little bit, what makes her mad, so what makes her go. on her. This I'm not, is why we don't ever have new people because you're always <laughs> picking people around. Learn to be nice. <laughs> I am so sick of you. Oh, oh man. my God. Wait a minute. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were Jeremy for a minute. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that, was, that felt good. <laughs> 